Hi and welcome to this week's edition of Sports Vision. Joining me today is the first grade manager for the Queen Bee and Whites, Jim Gledhill. Jim, welcome along to Sports Vision today. Thanks very much. Mate, the Queen Bee and Whites have been one of the form teams in the John Iden competition over the last few seasons with two premierships in 2007 and 2008 and a grand final appearance in 2009. How are you guys looking for 2010? Well, thanks for the question. It's, um, we're in very much the same situation as we were last year. Um, last year this time we'd lost 10 players from our grand final winning side and uh, what happened throughout the year is we developed and uh, improved throughout the year and uh, Wayne Southwell, our first grade coach, brought through some young players and they were good enough to make it all the way through, of course, to the grand final and um, just getting beaten uh, on the bell um, was a pretty good effort. Those boys that, um, that we brought through last year, with average age, not much over 20, um, they're one year uh, older this year, they're with a lot more first grade experience. Uh, quite a few of them are still here, so we, um, we, we are confident that um, uh, by the second round of the competition, we'll be uh, on song and heading in the right direction. Right, well that leads me to my second question. Now the club seems to be reaping the benefits of a youth policy these days with a lot of those young players established first graders now. Um, how does that rub off, you know, the enthusiasm on the rest of the club? Well that's, that's a good question too because we have had another infusion of really great Colts players for this year. We had a lot of injuries last year in our Colts but, but more Colts have come through again this year, some very good quality players and that's always good for the club to, um, to provide the backup for the more senior players. Now our more senior players are still young, but the Colts infusion and enthusiasm uh, is terrific. They, we've also picked up um, some young players from uh, Goulburn mm -hmm. who've, uh, who've now decided to try and, and make it in the, uh, in the slightly tougher competition of the ACT rugby mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and they are supporting us. They're young, they're enthusiastic, they have to be coming all the way from Goulburn yeah, exactly. to train on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. Um, so, so our young fellows are very, very good. Even our uh, players with a few years' experience, like Robbie Coleman now and uh, and Nick White, both Australian under 20s players mm -hmm. away at the moment. Um, you know they're very young, but their their experience, their enthusiasm is infectious, and um, and certainly helps us. Uh, uh, once we get down into the into the business end of the season. Yeah, no, that's excellent. Um, you mentioned your uh, first grade coach before, Wayne mm -hmm. Southwell. Mm -hmm. He's been kicking around the club for, for, for many years. Can you give us an insight into how he prepares his team each week and how he manages to keep his co coaching approach fresh? Well, Wayne is, um, is a very professional, uh, has a very, very professional approach to his rugby. He, um, he analyse, he's a very good analyst. He gets the films every week. He analyses it. We keep great statistics on um, on turnovers and uh, lost ball, that, this, that, and the other. And and um, and Wayne uses that to um, to uh, focus in on special things for for training. Now, mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays are our main coaching sessions. Um, but uh, and and. Let me say that Wayne, up until just last week, has been running every grade. Mm -hmm. He's, um, he's uh, got the same philosophy for all of our players, um, all the way through to the Colts players, and it's, and it's beginning to show. Once they learn Wayne's system, mm -hmm. it's very, very good. His, his attack, especially for the backs, is, um, I think it's unique in Canberra. And, um, and even though we've lost um, a couple of our really, really star performers in the, in the Hastings Brothers, mm -hmm. um, I think you'll see our backs particularly performing well. And the forwards will hold their own too. Well, that's yeah. right. Well, that leads me to my next question. Um, one of the highlights of last year's grand final was the emergence of a cult hero out at Queanbeyan, and a young fellow named Jamie Marmont. Uh, his, nickname, his nickname's The Chainsaw. Can you give us an idea on how he managed to get that nickname well, and, uh, yeah, how well he's going to go about Chainsaw this game is, this year? Chainsaw is a great personality in our club. He, he, is, um, he got his nickname Chainsaw, I believe, um, 
and and I don't know everything that goes on with the boys, but uh, <laughs> he got his nickname because he used to chop people off at the ankles. Yep. He's a great tackler. He's he's slightly built, tall, mm -hmm. but um, he is a terrific, terrific defender. Now, chainsaw um, was taken up um, by a few of the local boys that had chainsaws, mm -hmm. and of course they remove the blades, but they do make a um, a lot of noise. And it's a uh, it's he's a, he is a cult hero. He's also a personality in the club. Like for instance, at our grand final presentation night, mm -hmm. he he. Um, he actually made a video of every pl every player in the team with uh, the, their idiosyncrasies. Oh, okay. And um, he was very good at it, and he, he turned it into rap music, and and so therefore he is um, a leader within the, his own right within the club. Well, he sounds like a great club man, actually. He is so. a club, great club man. And it's excellent to have those personalities in the local game where people can see him. Yeah. I mean, there was an article in the paper about him in the lead up to the grand final. Yeah. And I can vouch for the noise that they made at grand final yeah. day. Those yeah. chainsaws, they were, they didn't stop yeah. all game. So it was great to see that sort of stuff. And, and that's that's typical of the Queanbeyan community. We are a community rugby team. Mm -hmm. We're a one team town, and that's. Um, that's a great thing. We, we get great support from our local member, Mike Kelly, and mm -hmm. we get great support from the Mayor, Tim Overall, who are, who are visible at every game that they can possibly get to. Mm -hmm. it's, a, um, it's a great thing for Queanbeyan, yep. and, uh, and, and we enjoy their support. Now, finally, the Queanbeyan region's sporting prowess is often highlighted in the media, and with such great ambassadors as Matt Giddo and Mark Webber, you know, touting the town's virtues, how do the Queanbeyan Whites capitalise on that? Oh, well, as you can see, the Hall of Fame in Queanbeyan and, um, and, and the support of the local... We're very par parochial in, in uh, Queanbeyan mm -hmm. and, and it shows in our rugby team. You'll see on our football jumper that um, not only do we say Queanbeyan or whatever like that, we, they, the boys insisted that we put the postcode on the, mm -hmm. on the jumper. So it's 2620. It's, there's no sponsorship attached to that. It's just um, uh, they're proud of where they come from. A lot of them are Queanbeyan boys mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and very good at it too. No worries. Yeah. You told yeah. me a little bit earlier about some of the um, the physical changes you've had out at Campesi mm -hmm. Park. Can you run us through some of those yeah. things that will support the players? Well, with some support from government, um, uh, once again, Mike Kelly and mm -hmm. Tim overall, we've been able to um, uh, build new club rooms, state-of-the-art club rooms, with state-of-the-art changing facilities, facilities for medical staff, mm -hmm. facilities for the for the long-suffering referees, and um, it, you will see that by mid-season it will be completed and, and uh, for the first time for a while we'll have club rooms that we can return to without going to our local watering hole after each game mm -hmm. and um, I think you'll see the spirit even uh, build even further than it is now. Um, it's, it's a great, uh, great facility, it's taking shape and we should have it by July. By July. Well, that'll be uh, good timing in mm. your run home for that second round that you mentioned where you guys will start clicking uh, on the field as well. Yep. So thanks very much for joining us today, Jim. Um, good luck for the rest of your season and uh, go the Whites. Thank you. All right, thanks thank very you. Much. Cheers.